Well, welcome back. We've got the 2006 F430 Spider on the docket today. I actually had this thing in last week for a couple of stability control codes, and when they plugged it in, they found a couple of misfires as well. So today, I'm not doing anything with the stability control. However, I will be uh, at least attempting spark plugs. And uh, in order to do that on the 430, uh, the access is okay, but really you do have to pull off these flank panels, which unfortunately means pulling the entire set of the panels because of how they're oriented. Um, the rear one, especially on this side with the release, all you really have to do is take the bolts out and just leave it aside to loosen the front one. This one you can pull all the way out, really not a big deal. Um, I actually put these carbon fiber panels in about a year ago, so I've done that part before, but that's kind of imperative to get to the, uh, the coils, at least the front ones. I believe the rearmost coil you can probably get at um, without that. But Step one for me is just going to be grabbing a 4 mil Allen on a socket and zipping those bad boys right on out of there. Well, I wish this was a coupe. <laughs> The spider has a bunch more stuff in the way. So there is some room in here to get these coils, but not a ton. So the first off, it looks like it's gonna be those 10 mils on the heat shield. So I can get at the bottom five mil coil bolts. And then I'll be starting on the coils. Well, I've got all of the plugs, sorry, coils off the valve cover. I'm just gonna leave them sitting there because there's really no reason to unplug them. And they are labeled. Uh, right now, I'm gonna grab my 16 millimeter and get some extensions that'll fit this and proceed to take the old plugs out of this bank. Definitely original at 16,000 miles. That's looking pretty borked. Oops. There can see cylinder six seven misfire, which this is cylinder five, so we haven't even seen that yet. But here's the new plug. Uh, I'll tell you what the gap is in just a second. I looked it up the other uh, second, so this looks like it's gonna be pretty close though to what we actually want. These spark plugs are just adorable. I am an average mannequin sized human man, and uh. This M10 spark plug thread is just super interesting to see. <laughs> Reminds me of like a weed whacker or something. 24 and 28 thousandths. For the record, a deep 16, a three inch and a one inch extension fit perfectly. Uh, torque to 7.6 foot pounds. Final plug on this bank. And we've got the NGK PMR8B single platinum, really good plug. Looks like it's OE, so. That's what's going in. Again, this is the last one all the way against the firewall on this side. This sucks. How I've been doing it is I've been grabbing the tip of the spark plug with my magnet. Like so. I've been dropping it into the hole and then once it's in as far as it'll go, I've been dislodging it with my finger and then wiggling it down and it's only dropping maybe a half a centimeter so I'm not worried about the gap changing. Fingers crossed. Oh, what a nightmare it is to do on a spider. This would be much better on a coupe. New plugs are all in. Nice. Time to put the coils back on and get this all buttoned back up. I think I'm gonna do the other side on Monday. I don't really feel like doing both sides today. Wow. <laughs> With all the panels and even to put this panel back in, I've gotta put the spider top up a little bit. It's just a huge, huge nightmare, so. It's still well better than paying a dealer in Indy to do it as long as you're careful. But wow, what a pain. Oh my goodness. It's back together except for this. <laughs> well, until next week when I have time to do the other side. Done and done. Well, back in the thick of it today on side two. I've actually got the, uh, well, the cars apart. Old plugs are out. New plugs are in, just about to jam those coils back on, get all the fasteners back in place, button the car up, and then make sure she's good. But I, I still think doing plugs on a 355 is quite a bit easier. 
Uh, if this wasn't a spider, it'd be downright easy, but the additional uh, space constraint inside the engine bay on the spider with all the convertible top stuff does make it a bit more difficult, so almost there. All done, finally.